As a black man, it feels like your skin is a weapon. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! It feels like, for some reason, they feel like you're a threat. We know that we're just as smart, just as intelligent, and you're just as beautiful as anyone. No justice, no peace, no justice. Every day when you wake up, you are in fear of your life. I'm a bi biracial woman. I have faced racism in my life. As an ex-police officer, I faced racism, and now it's time for a change. I was a police officer for 15 years. I uh, fought the Watts riots in 1992. Um, I was on the scrimmage line on the opposite side, and now here I am on this side protesting what's right. And I saw a lot of injustice back then, and I never saw the change, and now finally, because the world sees it, change is coming. I grew up in the American South, Mississippi. It has one of the darkest histories of racism. And I've seen it on a day-to-day -day basis, growing up in school, the university, at work. Uh, and I think it's a major problem that we have to deal with. I've seen it like around day-to-day, -day, like in the grocery store, in the supermarket, uh, on the street. Uh, just, it's been something challenging. I also am a teacher. So I see it at the school a little bit and I try to correct students and try to teach them a better way to recognize racism and to fight against it. Get your foot off my neck! Get your foot! I myself definitely experienced racism as a black man. When I first moved to the UK, I had there was an incident where someone, I, I didn't know him, me and my cousin were on the bus and he started looking at us in a weird way. When we got off the bus, he ran up to us and he was like, go back to where you, you came from, You're not, you don't belong here. optimistic about the protest and leading to change because at first it was just the black, the minorities that were out here, but now you have a nation that's all coming together as one. So as I go out to these protests, it's not just the African Americans that are out here, it's everyone out here. So we're finally united as one. So change is definitely coming and I'm feeling extremely positive about the change. It's good that protests are happening. I hope that they remain peaceful. Uh, I hate when critics only focus on the riots or the looting. Like, I want them to know that there's peaceful protests all over the U.S. and also all over the world. The fact that we're standing together globally says it all. Like, it's significant. And it's, it's sad that he died, but his death has now affected change and it's changing the world. So it really resonated with me and I had to come out in his name and in, in every other name that, that died for in, on the injustice to protest and to let our voice be heard. Black 